Rabbit's first batch of R1 units, a whopping 10,000 in total, has flown off the shelves just a few days after its unveiling at CES 2024. Now, they're gearing up for a second round this spring, and you can bet your house that'll go pretty quickly too. But what's the deal with this gadget that's causing such a stir? And more importantly, how is it any better than whatever else is on the market? Now, before we get started, make sure to like the video if you find interesting or helpful. Also, do subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon as well so that you can continue watching such insightful AI and tech-focused videos right here on the AI trail. All right, let's get started. Jesse Liu, the brains behind the AI startup Rabbit, wants to make one thing clear. He's not trying to replace your trusty smartphone right away. Rabbit's latest creation, the R1, is a game changer in the tech world, priced at a reasonable $199. It is a sleek standalone AI device, roughly half the size of an iPhone, complete with a 2.88 inch touchscreen, a nifty rotating camera, and a scroll wheel button combo to chat with the built in assistant. Under the hood, the R1 packs a punch with a 2.3 GHz MediaTek processor, 4 GB of memory, and a generous 128 GB of storage. The design, a collaboration with Teenage Engineering, gives it that modernized 90s handheld TV vibe. Oh, and the battery? Rabbit promises it lasts all day. Reviewers have got a sneak peek at the R1 after Rabbit's launch event, and let me tell you, it looks and sounds impressive. The device feels surprisingly light, and the tactile buttons are downright satisfying. A teenage engineering trademark. Sure, it's a bit of a fingerprint magnet, but that's a small price to pay for such a sleek piece of tech. Despite that, the real star here is Rabbit's operating system, aptly named Rabbit OS, and the cutting-edge AI tech it runs on. Forget about juggling multiple apps and logins. Rabbit OS is like having a universal remote for your digital life. Want to control music, order a ride, or buy groceries? Just ask and let the R1 do the rest. The R1's on-screen interface uses category-based cards for easy navigation, and Liu has said the screen is there mainly for you to double-check the model's output. What sets Rabbit apart is its approach to app integration. Instead of convincing developers to support the R1, Rabbit trained its model on using existing apps. But where it gets really cool is the fact that R1 has a dedicated training mode, Teach it a task once, and it'll remember how to do it forever. Liu gave an example of showing the R1 how to remove watermarks in Photoshop, and voila, it can do it on its own in just 30 seconds. Rabbit's approach is a stroke of genius. While other AI-powered gadgets just connect to chatbots, Rabbit aims to be a super app, a one-stop shop for all your needs. What ChatGPT is to web search, Rabbit OS could be to the App Store. Sure, there are challenges ahead, but isn't this incredibly exciting already? The practical nitty-gritty is still a bit hazy since the only working model out there belongs to Liu himself. No denying, it's like a cute orange Google Assistant on steroids. But what about the competition? Is it really any better than, say, Humane's AI pin? Now, this showdown is pretty interesting, especially when it comes to real-life use. R1 flaunts some solo features and opens up a portal called Rabbit Hole, where you can hook up with your various services. For things like mastering Photoshop, they've got virtual machines up their sleeves on the web portal. But the real challenge is making sure this seamless integration works across all kinds of devices and platforms for everyone. At first glance, they seem like two peas in a pod with their appless OS, Rabbit OS for R1 and Cosmos for the AI pin. But peek a bit closer and you'll spot some cool differences. The Humane AI pin is sort of a wearable LLM powered search guru. It's got a chat GPT-like assistant vibe, doing cool things like summarizing emails and texts with its catch me up feature. Plus, it plays detective with its integrated camera, scanning food for nutritional info, and breaking language barriers with real-time translations. But what about the apps problem in this Rabbit R1 vs AI pin showdown? Well, Rabbit R1 goes in guns blazing, mimicking smartphone moves, without cozying up to app-specific APIs, probably handling most tasks in the cloud. That means the Rabbit R1 vs AI pin debate has the potential to get a lot spicier, as Rabbit doesn't need formal app partnerships. Meanwhile, Humane AI Pin plans to roll out navigation and shopping in cahoots with app developers, letting them whip up their own nifty tools. Rabbit's approach is like a tech wizard's dream come true. It's super versatile, no need to cozy up to app developers for features, and the possibilities seem endless. 
With the Rabbit R1, users can basically train its AI to pull off any task you'd normally do on a smartphone. On the flip side, Humane AI is going for a more controlled vibe, hoping developers will whip up tools tailored just for its platform. Now, let's talk hardware. Rabbit R1 versus AI Pin Style. The Humane AI Pin is all about that grand vision, packing a 13MP camera, a built-in projector for cool hand displays, a touchpad, and a trust light that lights up when it's recording. It's a wearable wonder, clips onto your gear, and runs on a snazzy octa-core Qualcomm processor, making it the ultimate on-the-go assistant. Meanwhile, the Rabbit R1 wants to slide into the same spot as your smartphone. It has a speaker, a slick 2.88-inch touchscreen, and a funky rotating camera, aka the Rabbit Eye, snapping pics and videos. And get this, it's way more budget-friendly at $190 compared to the Humane AI Pin's $699 price tag. Now, the Rabbit R1 versus AI Pin face-off paints a picture with tons of potential but a few question marks. Humane AI has flaunted its limited functionalities, still cooking up more features like shopping and navigation. On the other side of the ring, while Rabbit R1's keynote talks a big game about a whole bunch of functionalities, they fell short on showing us the goods. But now, the all-important question, can you snag one right now? Nope, sorry. Rabbit's first 10,000 units flew off the shelves and even the second batch for March is gone too. The hype's real though, with the R1 aiming to shake up how we interact with tech. CES 2024 was already buzzing about the Internet of Things, IoT, everyone wanting your phone to sync up with everything in your house, and then the R1's nostalgia-inducing simplicity hit a nerve. Jesse Liu even called it the iPhone moment for the AI era. But hey, if you're feeling thrifty, word on the tech street is some wizards on X, formerly Twitter, already jammed the rabbit AI into a smartphone. Now that'll do it for today's video, folks. Liked it? Hated it? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. Oh, and psst, don't forget to subscribe.